Hey yo, what's going on with the viewers of the tube? It's been a while since we've been together. After a short break, I'm back in the saddle again, ready to provide the best crypto content on the place they call the tube. It's a fresh year, so let's start out fresher than a brand new Lamborghini. You know our drill, even if it's been a while, because it's time for Chico Crypto. Well, we gotta start out with the granddaddy of all coins, BTC Bitcoin. My last video was around the 13th of December and Bitcoin was at around $47,000. Well, right through the holidays, Bitcoin pumped and just after Christmas touched 52K. But right back down we went to where we started, 47K. And then even further below, down to below 41K. And what's so shocking about this? This is right where Bitcoin started one year ago in January of 2021. So BTC didn't do what many expected for the end of the year, even myself. It didn't hit around 100K. It didn't hit Plan B's prediction of 135K. Shoot, it didn't even hit back into the 60K region. Which of course caused Mr. B to respond to the lackluster price performance and his models. He tweeted, I see YMI, in case you missed it. Floor model failed, I will not use it again. S2F stock to flow model is at the same critical point at the standard deviation SD band as when I wrote the S2F article in March 2019. In my opinion, S2F is still useful. In fact, the model is the most useful in critical situations. I will watch if S2F stays within one standard deviation. So plan B axed his floor model chart, but is still sticking with his most popular stock to flow, which as we can see with the current BTC price, we are just out of the one standard deviation band and into the next band, two standard deviations. And as we can see throughout the past, BTC hasn't been in this lower band level for long. If you look at the past touches of this low band, which there is more than a few, middle of 2020, end of 2018, into early 2019, throughout 2017, middle of 2015, a touch usually signaled a bottom of the Bitcoin price and BTC would move upwards back into the one standard deviation band. And the creator of the model spoke about this. Plan B said, I use models to protect myself from emotions. Right now, most people, including myself, fear further decline of the BTC price and want to sell. But S2F model shows BTC is at the low end of the 50K to 200K one standard deviation band, a buy signal. Plan B is saying with these current prices and according to his S2F model, it's a buy signal. But what if his model is wrong? When would his model become invalidated? Well, Plan B explained this. He tweeted in response to that question, when BTC spends most of its time in the white instead of the blue. So we talked about Bitcoin, but what about altcoins? Which altcoins through this major bearish downtrend have been hodling strong? Well, can you smell what Sergey is cooking? Yes, I'm talking about that stinky, stinky link who you can smell from a mile away lately. <laughs> yeah, Chainlink went from a low of $19.13 at the end of the year, December 31st, to as of yesterday, $27.17. Only a 42% increase in just a week and a half. And pretty much everything else in the markets got killed price-wise in this time period, including Bitcoin, which means Chainlink's Bitcoin price ratio also went wild. So what is the reason for the stellar price performance? Well, I could explain it, but we might as well let the Flan Man himself tell us. Let's listen in to what Sergey had to say to begin 2022 on January 1st. We have achieved certain distinct Oracle networks, certain committees of nodes that are able to run so efficiently thanks to OCR, have achieved efficiency because of the efficiency gains of the chains they're on, and have enough user demand happening quickly enough that they have um, become completely profitable. They don't require a block reward or an Oracle reward of any kind to operate. And this milestone has led us to, to plan for staking's release in this coming year. 
And after that, he dove in further, reiterating that it's coming this year, and they are working feverishly to get it out. This is something that we are planning to release, or a version of this is planning to be released in this coming year. We do plan to, to see staking and staking rewards being made possible this coming year. And now that we have reached a certain level of profitability for some of the Oracle networks in the Chainlink set of networks, um, we feel that it's that it's a good time to, to do this. This is obviously a very complex problem because just like Oracle networks generate a unique form of decentralized computation, different from blockchains, the staking that is applied to that unique form of decentralized computation also needs to be unique. And so we have been, you know, feverishly working on different aspects of staking. So when this year, is it going to happen in the first half or are we going to have to wait to the disappointing end of year December launch? Well, there was a very interesting article put out on Chainlink staking, and it definitely could have leaked some information that wasn't supposed to hit the airwaves just yet. But luckily, your boy Chico caught it. The article was from Decrypt, entitled, Next Up for Chainlink in 2022, Link Staking and Internet of Blockchains. The article states, in an exclusive interview with Decrypt, Chainlink co-founder Sergey Nazarov shared what's coming next. Most notable for DeFi DGEN, staking is coming, something Chainlink had not confirmed elsewhere beyond a mention in its January 1st roadmap video. Yes, you guys, Decrypt sat down with Sergey and they got an exclusive interview with them. They got the inside scoop on staking, a scoop that went a little too deep. Now within the article, there's a specific section that says, Chainlink has been working on a staking solution for years, and its April 2021 white paper laid out how it would work. Nazarov says the team is now finally satisfied with the security and scalability of the consensus system they've designed, and is now ready to launch staking this year. But he declines to specify when in the year it might launch. Well, that part of the article was actually edited, along with other parts, and some Twitter users caught the edits. A David Miller tweeted, Staking has already been audited. Staking is already in test mode. Position yourself accordingly. There may not be much more chances to get in before Singularity, with a screenshot from the article before it was edited. Back then it said, Chainlink has been working on a staking solution for years, and its April 2021 white paper laid out how it would work. Nazarov says the team is now finally satisfied with the security and scalability of the system they've designed, which has been audited and is currently in test mode, but he declines to specify when in 2022 it might launch. Very nice. Wow, wow, wee wah. Chainlink staking has been audited and is currently in test mode, aka a private test net, which we all know what comes after the private test net, usually a public one. But earlier, I was talking about when, when Chainlink staking could be coming. That edit just said it's audited and is currently in a test net. Well, there was another edit, and a Timo.eth on Twitter caught this one. He tweeted, Chainlink staking is ready, it's audited, currently in testnet, and will launch in the first half of 2022. New tidbits from the Decrypt guys, so no need to wait for potentially next December. The first half of 2022? What, what, what? How can we confirm this? Well, someone down in the comments says, but he declines to specify when in 2022 it might launch. Where do you get the first half of 2022? Timo replies, they edited the article with a screenshot that said, Chainlink will launch staking in the first half of 2022, allowing link holders to secure the network by locking up some of their link into the protocol, earning rewards. You heard that right, Chainlink staking will launch in the first half of 2022. And this would make sense if the code is audited and they are in the private testing stages. So guys and gals, expect Chainlink interest across the board to start bubbling as people once again believe in the power of the link, because soon you will be able to stake your link with link node operators. And those operators aren't just some tiny small fish in the sea, they are the big fish. Chainlink put out a tweet yesterday that said, 
Garbage in, garbage out. A data quality problem solved by decentralization. Chainlink price feeds feature three layers of aggregation for more robust, globally accurate price data that's hyper resistant to a single point of failure. And as we can see, one of those layers is the Chainlink node operators, which include T-Systems, aka T-Mobile, Swisscom, AccuWeather, LinkPool, and Secure Data Links. But it doesn't end with Chainlink staking in 2022. Back in the Decrypt article, it says, Chainlink is also set to launch CCIP, its global standard for messaging and communication between blockchains. CCIP seeks to do what TCP IP did for the internet, connect all blockchains into one internet of blockchains. And below they give the date, CCIP will launch in 2022. So Chainlink's cross-chain interoperability protocol is coming too. Can you say, swing? Cause Sergey, the Link Marines and me, we all like the swing. Cheers, viewers. I'll see you next time.